to when you're alive. Uh, uh, alive. Huh? What do you do? Um. Mm. Ah! Hey. Yeah. I'll come get I know it. Hold on. What's up, y'all? Come here. Uh, come up here. We are going to review this heat gun from Wagner. No, they have not paid us. They just said, hey, we like what you do. We got something that you guys might like to use. So, Let's look. we are going to check it out. It's very space agey. Um, okay, she hasn't turned it off yet. They got a little platypus. Um, Ow. Pretty, pretty, uh, feels good in your hand. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Attachment goes on, but I probably want to push this together a little so it makes a little, there you go. Tighter? Tight, tight like a toy guy. Mm. Um, and if you notice, there is no trigger right here. But the, tri the, the button is on the top. All right, we'll, we'll play with this in a second. All right. Tonight we're using Stone Coat, of course. Shocker. The best resin in the biz. It's a one-to-one -one out of Oregon. Stone Coat countertops, Art Coat. You get like at least an hour and a half working time. It's amazing. Um, an awesome UV protection in it. You like sit stuff. It's like up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep. Um, no odor whatsoever. And it's, it's awesome stuff, man. It's awesome, Possum. And we do sell that on our website as well. Artistelldeath.com And tonight, I'm just going to do something fun. Just some, just some colors I haven't done in a while. I'm going to do some cherry. Some grape. I'm going to do cherry from... Oh, from Color Obsession. This is amazing cherry. It's, it's kind of transparent, but it's not. Like, it's one of those where you're just like, oh, this is so beautiful. Um, it's so vibrant, it, it almost not lets it be <laughs> opaque. Uh -uh. You can't. She just gives Bowie stuff to chew on. And it's a rag, and now he's gonna always want to chew on rags. You are already gonna chew on everything, but I see your point, and I'll get it from it. Yeah. Um, we are back from Jacksonville. What's up, Amber? Alright, so I'm going to. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Oh, Chris says, I use that same heat gun at work, and I don't like it. After you use it and turn it off, it goes in a cool down mode and you can't turn it back on until it cools off all the way. We will test that because maybe that's something they've updated. I don't know, but we're going to figure that out together. Uh oh, okay. So this is where Bowie watches the show from. Back to the show. I know. Mm -hmm. I know it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a pinch. It is a pretty comfortable heat gun to hold and we'll do. Hi. We'll talk more in depth as we go on. We just opened the box. Oh my god, you're gonna fall and break the face. 
It's like you like worrying, but like. Hi, Marianne, Brisbane. Hey, JJ. Hi, all the fam. So, B, what's your process? Um, I don't know yet. I'm just putting this in the center. And I'm going to put the white on the outside and make it a negative space. I just want to put this in the center so I can get some movement, a little easier movement. Does that one have variable heat? Yes, it has six different heat settings. Um, well, no, six different speed settings from what it looked like. And then the heat goes all the way up to 1500 degrees. I'm pretty sure that's what it said just a second ago. The Amtec heat gun that we have on our um, Amazon link has variable heat for sure. And it does not turn off after it gets, you know, so hot. So we're gonna see if this one works out for us as well. Hey Jen, JJ, Bouvier, I Doris, don't know what to do here. Diane, Angel Heart. It's a good start. Yeah, we're going old school. Hey Sue. I don't know what I'm doing here, y'all, but I'm just going to go old school. I'm going to do kind of like what we used to do. You know it's going to take over. I know. Oh. Okay. Well, like, come chew on these things over here. That's the bandies. What's this? Is this for bellies? far as the um, Beyonce fan and then he's like, no, nah, I don't need it. What did you think about it, Abby? Jen says she has that heat gun as well, but never had the issue with it cooling down and not turning back on. Prefer the intake though. So Dunnies, a lot of times, uh, Judy got us a pedal so that we don't have to use the on-off switch for our heat gun. And I'll see if she can send me the link for it so I can put it in our Amazon page. It's, it's really handy. Switch, right? Huh? I think it's a sewing switch. Let me see if I can look it up real quick. So I just put a white white resin down. Around this. I have no idea what I'm doing, y'all. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the flow here. It's at, it starts off at 650. And then there's a little minus and plus. And you could go up increments, increments of 10. All right, I added it to the influencer page. It literally goes up to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit. You guys can see that, which I That is a lot of heat. That's more than you need. So I'm just gonna use 1300 just to pop these bubbles, which is doing a very good job. You definitely, People at home don't want to put too much heat on when you use the white base tint like we're using. That'll make your resin too thin and your cells won't stay. I'm going to turn this down. See how low we can go. 420. We just started the seal. No, that. Melt wallpaper wow. mode. The uh, 
Which one, Maria? The air is not very, it's not a, it's not a uh, very high, blunt, like. It doesn't push a lot of air. It doesn't push a lot of air. This is the first mode. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I'm not moving anything. Maybe if I heat it up more. Let's turn it up. We're going to turn it up a little bit. We'll turn it up to... That was down to four something. Hi, Cassie. We'll do 700 and see how that does. No. It moves it a little. They don't push very hard and that's why I'm not in love with it. No. no, I'm gonna heat all this up and just, I'm gonna do a big tilt, I think. Or maybe some swipes. Yeah, this, the, uh, I mean, it does push it, but they definitely need to ramp up the. That's the highest air? Yeah. Do you want me to get you the other one? I don't know. Oh, the goldfish orange is really nice. We'll do that. Uh, we'll use that one this week. Hey, Shy. How are you feeling? Hi, CLK in Chicago. I mean, that's a pretty, I mean, it's a nice heat. Like, it's not just in your face. And I guess I like it. I don't know how hot that other one gets. So, I don't either. it's hard to tell. Like, you could use that one for um, like alcohol inks. Nine hundred. It doesn't move a lot. That would be, this would be good for alcohol inks, yeah. You're just putting a lot of heat down without a whole lot of results, be. I don't know if I would. I know. Continue. I could. I know. And you press if you press the power button, it goes to cool setting. See here. Well, we will contact Wagner and let them know um, our recommendations for this heat gun. Okay, Lucille, I actually was about to do a video on how the fiberglass ended up going and I will I will show you guys at the end of this feed how that turned out. The purple is beautiful. It is. That is great from just resin. Roxy, he's just doing a painting. So the heat gun, it doesn't push a lot of air. Yeah, there's not a lot. The, the, the power of the... 
What the old heat comes over there, the new one's over there. From the looks of it, as just a bystander, I think I like the old one better, but I haven't used it. Give me some swipey paper. Okay. It's in a geode storm. I'm sorry, Shy. Hopefully that um, corrects itself. Yeah, they need to. I guess it's just for the heat, you know? I can picture the arm burns that sucker would make, right? Michigan here for the first time. Hey, sour cream. It's funny, you changed your name to S Cream, and everyone else is like, What's up, sour? Hey, Ange. Dude, those cells look fun, though. Phoenix, Arizona, hey. I used to live in Tucson. Scarlet calls me sweet cream and I think I prefer that. So the S is just all adjectives of cream. Just got through the bra ad to tune in. Sorry, Jules, I don't get to pick which ads go there. Actually, I think y'all have more to do with what ads are posted than I do, because it goes off of your search and possibly whatever it is that you talk about to people. I was talking to my mom about something completely random like shoehorns or something and the next video I watched on YouTube was a shoehorn ad. This so fun. Hey, Pamela. It does put paint, but it's making it really, uh, really hot. So. You really probably don't want to. You don't want to use this for resin to to push paint. Everybody's saying they really like it. It's fun. Like this is such a. We miss you too when you're not here, Shy. Always thinking about you. You still got one stuck to the bottom of your. Um, driver's side rear corner. I like all the cells that are popping up just on the corners. Because of the white. Put mm -hmm. that white down. I love this golden cherry together. 
V, we use stone coat white base tint. And that's the only, quote, additive we use, even though it's not an additive, it's just a color. Thanks, Dorian. How are you doing? That's fun. Sour cream, it just makes me think of tacos. And tacos are amazing. I like how the purple goes into cherry with a splash of gold. Yeah. Pamela said, I was late. I like this piece. Thank you, Shy. I think the ATDs or the Poor People's D Stash group is a good idea for people to get. Um, what is it called? Poor People's D Stash. D Stash? Yeah, like, you know, you stash a whole bunch of materials. This is a D Stash. But what's a D Stash? I just said. D? Yeah, Unsash, D Stash, D E S T A S H, like. On board. Never, never. Thanks, Trina. I didn't do it. Jeff did. Right, Lisa? Agreed. The movement is great. Love the cells and color combination. Just joined. Teletubby crime scene. Yeah. Oh, I appreciate that, Shy. We love you, too. Jen said it's when you resell your stash stuff or trade or give it away or do whatever you want. I think you should make that into a rose after it's you like cured because I I just see a flower in it. Well I see it too. I just wouldn't be able to do a lot because you just cover it up. I love all this. That's so fun. Mm-hmm. Pinwheel. Camera work is great. Thanks, Robin. Um, I'm just letting it do its thing. We'll be back on our regular live feed camera probably tomorrow. We just got it back in from um, Miss Diane who had it in Vegas. She fixed it for us where it was making that horrendous sound. Love the red and purple together. Hi, Diana. Are the Masonites clocks back in yet? I have two back ordered. Um, huh? No. We didn't get those cut today. We'll be going back up to cut more of the Masonite um, tomorrow. Wow. Thank you, Shy. Hi, Julie. We are great. How are you doing? Linda says, I love it. Walk away. Right, Pamela? It was great. Hope you're having an amazing day, Miss Diana Smith. You could probably actually, the way you know your shapes, actually do a rose. Watch your left hand, you're dripping. Other level. Lucille, I... I actually think that the stone coat white and black are lighter than the other pigments, which is why they have to be under the other one so that they can float possibly. I don't know. I can't tell you the science behind it. All I know is it works 100% of the time as long as you use it properly. I'm sorry, Kim. We'll have them back in tomorrow. Jewel says perfect color combination. Yes, it's stone coats, base tints that cause the selling like this. You can get cells with other um, paints, but this is how um, we get our best cells. You can check back for some of our other past videos. We have them where we did side by side comparisons on the different cell structure. These like web type cells right here where it has like double color and they're not lacing and they're larger than regular cells they're not like frothy that is from stone coat i haven't seen that kind of cell structure from any other brand we do have this on our website you can also get it from stonecoatcountertops.com use our code y'all y-a-l-l -L, 
What does he do? He's like climbing. All caps. No punctuation to get um, $10 off your $100 order. Look at those. I haven't seen white cells in a long time. There's such dimension. Bowie. I'll get him. Whoops, sorry for the extreme close-up, y'all. Jeff's camera is super touchy. Bow bangles. What are you doing? Are you getting into stuff? Thanks, Miss Bouvier. Scarlet! Behind this. So, after um, this week, we will have a whole new setup in my studio area to where we can go live over there and do some different type of artwork. We can do some stone setting, we can do some painting, we can do some drawing, some doodling, um, some fine art painting, and we'll be able to go live over there so you guys can have a little different summer this summer. I know. No. Whoa. You also play with Cujo. I see that. Oh. No. He is a little brat. Yep, we're just removing him from the situation until it calms down. I watch Caesar Milan, Bowie. You don't want to test me. I like this middle. Awesome creation. I know it. What's up, Mike Green? No. What's up, Mike? I like that. That's so fun. I do want to say thanks to Mona Dancing Color Art for her amazing care package. Thank you to everyone that has sent us any letters or gifts or um, artwork. We love it all. Looks like a flower. It's my new style geode storm. It's a rose. <laughs> Geo rose storm. Geo rose. It's a cell rose. Rose cell. Cellular, circular, cyclical. So. Rose. Um, I'm just going to give you my two cents on this uh, heat gun. Wipe this handle off. I love how it feels. Um, no! It's got a great no. weight, balance good. Um, I like that the buttons are on top, but they're so close to the... Uh, the frame, I guess you could say, that if you continue to do this with your sticky hand, it's de they're definitely gonna get clogged up. So I would suggest wrapping this up. And there's enough room right here. Well, they're not, they can't even see what I'm doing. Um, Go ahead. Uh, what do you call it? I lost my train of thought. Um, wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. You can wrap it up with cellophane. Um, I do like how you can control the temperature and see how hot it is, not just turn it and kind of guess. There's a fan button on here, too. You hit the fan. Um, and I guess what it'll do is it blinks, and, and then when it... Stop blinking, I guess. That's when it's 900 degrees. Probably that I would means assume. it's preheated. Yeah, there you go. So it's, it stopped blinking. It's at 900. And if you hit this little fan button, it goes low. Oh, that's the fan. What am I thinking here? I was thinking that that was like... Oh, I'm thinking of the power button. This is the fan button where you go higher or lower. You can't start over, you can't go back. It just goes high, 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 low, high, high, low. And like I said, if you hit the power button, it goes to cool. And it shows how it's cooling down. 
Cooling down, cooling down. Cooling down. Look, I, I got this close to my wrist too, so. That's pretty fast for cooling down. For having this right on my hand. So that's a good thing. And then you hold the power button and it turns off. Yeah. So, the only thing I don't like about it is the heat, uh, the heat, the force of the wind. It doesn't, it doesn't blow that well. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, Wagner, if you're watching, I like it. Um, I just wish there was a little bit more force. What, what am I, what am I trying to say? You're saying it right. You want more blow power. We need, we need more blow power. Um, this might be just for like scraping stuff, right? Yeah, I think that. Things that you don't want flying around if you're scraping something, I, I, I assume. Like this would be great for. Like off and drips off the bottom of the piece. Yeah, they could use that. I'm going to try with alcohol inks because I don't use a lot of force with my alcohol inks. This is just covered with it. Just drop it um, in a thing of alcohol inks. Um, well, I'm, I'm sidetracked for some reason. Like, I'm like. Um, so there you go. That's a fun piece. I know very many that's what she says are flying around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody wants a bad blowy. Nobody does. It's not even ATD after dark. Alright, so Right, and that? Amtake is a good company. So I was asked to show how the something Fiberglass base Your turn. work. Okay, we've run all that. No. Thank you. So I did what? this. Read things. What? Watch him. What? So I did this flag like six weeks ago, maybe. Maybe. And as you can see, like if I hold it, it, it wilts. It's see. still very bendy. I did it with the same mold that I use for the fiberglass one and I mean resin is soft until it's fully cured it's just the nature of the beast um oh! also that the star <laughs> hold on I'll get it so I if you didn't see the video I looked around to try to find a way to it's red, it'll be fine. I tried to find a way to stiffen, to harden, to give a better structure to resin. Um Sculptures, I guess, because I have a side table that I need to. Shy says, I have a super request. As you know, I hate pinks, but would like to try pinks. Could you do a pink comparison? Absolutely. So I'm going to come over there to show you the fiberglass one. I'm sorry, this one over here. I can't. I did this one. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty stiff, y'all. It's a bunch of that's what she says right there. Like, can't, I can't. So, so you guys can see it up close. Like, you can still see through it. There are some bubbles, and that pattern right here is from the fiberglass texture. The only real way, you can't see it anywhere else, you can still see right through it, but um, where the glass touched and the resin didn't very much, you can still see the fiberglass texture. So 
the way I did this one is I put the fiberglass down and then put resin and everything over it. So in future, I would put the resin down and then add the fiberglass cloth and then more resin do my design work. And that's how I would do it. <laughs> You're like, really? Trina, I think you should. I, that's exactly what I was thinking. I want to try the fiberglass. So I have the fiberglass that I use linked down in the description box below so that you can um, give it a try. It's so in the I Amazon can... link. Cujo. He's stuck up there because I blocked it for Bowie to get up. Really? You're going to smile at me? So, yeah, I invite all of you guys to give it a shot. The reason why it's a little bit cloudy, that's because the mold, that thing right there that I used, wasn't shiny. That has nothing to do with the fiberglass. That has to do with the amount of shiny in the mold. So... You can absolutely make lampshades. Yeah. You know, those like clamshell vases yeah. that um, Sue is doing, things like that. I would absolutely give it a shot. But anytime that I'm going to do any freestanding shape, I will absolutely incorporate the, um, the fiberglass. And I'm going to use it for the resin side table that I need a base for. This is going to be how I attach the legs and make sure that it won't wilt over time, you know? Anyways, I got to go. These kids are getting ornery. Man, they're He's like, getting I'm ornery. Crazy, He's ornery. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Okay, get down. He is so, he has zero fear. No fear. No fear. Come here. Zero fear. He's going to go backwards. What? Yeah, will you Bowie. get him? Okay. Hold on, Bowie. Hold on. Wow. Okay. Close up of the piece. It's jumper. You're a good jumper. Hold on. Let's go over there. Let's go. Come on. He is a jumping cotton ball. He is. All the jumpiest ones. It's my Geo Resin Storm. Rose. Rose Resin Storm. It is. All right. Aw, Scarlet, tell in-laws we said, what's up? And All right, you guys. Megan Hopkins, we will, um, I'm going to look at that video. I'm going to show her. I showed her, but we were driving. Um, and then we'll get back to you or to the lady. Um, just send me another message, just so it kind of reminds me to look at those places in uh, Tampa. That'd be cool. We appreciate it. Oh. Yep, he wants down. All right, you guys. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And we will see y'all tomorrow. We love you all so, so much. Check all of our links below. Till then, 